Hello again, and in today's episode, we're going to be changing the bushes in the front radius arms. Roll titles. Tea break. Right, so this is the radius arm. First thing we've got to do, take the steering arm off at the back. I'm going to put a brand new part on because this one's bent. Then we're going to take this arm off. We're going to undo the big nut at the back end here. And then we're going to undo these two bolts here. If I can't get them undone, I'll just cut them off with the grinder. We don't need them anymore. I've got some new ones. Let's get cracking. Well, I'm absolutely gutted. My other camera died and it lost the footage that I shot of me taking these off. I've had to change cameras. Um, but as you can see, the insides of these have completely corroded out. And it's not done too bad for saying it's 28 years. So, at the time of shooting this, I was going to replace them with some poly bushes. But nobody's got any anywhere um, at a decent price. I'm certainly not going to pay hundreds of pounds just for four bushes. So I'm going to replace them with OEM parts again. Uh, if they last another 28 years, they'll outlive me. Right, get yourself a sharp knife, a really sharp knife. We need to cut some of this rubber out of here. So we're down to the steel, yeah? The same for this one. The knife gets hot as well. Right. You want a flat chisel, one that's blunt, with a nice square edge on it. There you go. That's how you get them out.
So these are early Defender, so they're 39 mil wide. Later Defenders, 43. Make sure that you get the right bushes for the right arms. And there's the first bush. Now for the second bush. And that's the bush she's pressed into this arm. One thing's certain, I wouldn't have been able to do this with the old Chinese press I had. I think it had just folded. It's another good one. And that's it, that's all four bushes pressed.
Now, although I wasn't able to secure any poly bushes for the radius arms, I was able to get some poly bushes for the top, for the chassis mountings. So we'll fit these now. So we've got some bushing lubrication. We'll put a bit on the inside here and a bit round here on all the bushes. This is really useful. It's called a podger. Helps you line things up. The back bolt is actually in, but if you notice, this bolt is still a long way away. So what we have to do is we have to push this up. And as we push it up, it will rotate the axle around a bit. And then that will line up with that. And we do that with the jack. You can see the axle rolling round. And that's the first arm refitted and then we'll put the second one on the same before tightening it all up.
right torque setting for these is 176 newtons the other ball. Now for the other side. There's no way I'm going to get around there to put torque on this because obviously the tightening direction is upwards. So I'm going to do like I did when I undid it from the other side. And I'm going to push it up. movement all of these nuts and bolts on the radius arms have to be tightened up in a road condition with a weight on the axles which is done by sitting the axles on axle stands
There it goes. Seventy-six newtons with a jack. This is the poly bush fitted to the uh, radius arm to chassis. I put on the big thick washer. Tighten this up to 190 newtons. And that's that done. I'll do the same on the other side and we're finished.
and that's the end of that little job. So it took me a good weekend because I wanted to actually paint the arms before I put them back on. But they're on, they work, the ride feels great now, and best of all, Larry got through his MOT. So I won't have to worry about those for a very, very long time now. If you've enjoyed this episode, please remember to like, subscribe, leave me a comment below, and share these videos out amongst your friends. Maybe they'll enjoy watching them as well. Well, that's it from me. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye for now.